Hi folks and welcome back to our new session of Marquis Technologies tutorial series. Today we're going to cover an interesting subject, mainly the handling of RAW files coming out of a phantom camera. If you haven't already checked, there's another tutorial that covers the handling of RAW files generated by using an Ari Alexa camera. We're going to start with a project that was already created and the media was already dropped on the timeline. Now, the first thing that you should check when handling RAW files would be the RAW tab found in the grade panel. In here you're going to find all the settings specific to RAW file types. The availability of these settings will depend on what camera was used to generate the media. In this composition I have various clips with different problems and even different resolutions. But before starting to address particular issues, I should start from a more general point of view. The first common issue that I see on all my clips when I quickly browse through them is that they are unusually dark. This is quite a common problem for phantom files and it's because they are usually shot by using a linear gamma. If I change the gamma for this clip right here from linear to rec 709, I can suddenly see a big improvement in the luminosity of the scene. Now I have two choices. Either I do this for each individual clip, or I can use a very useful feature found in Mist and Rain called the Storyboard. The Storyboard can be accessed by pressing F7 on your keyboard. In this case, we're going to use the Storyboard in order to create a group, including all the clips on my timeline. And like this, I can change the gamma setting only once and have it applied for all the clips that I included in that group. To create a group in the storyboard, all you need to do is select the clips that you want to include in that group and you can do this by either holding down the shift key on the keyboard and drawing a selection box around the clips that you wish to include in the group or you can use the select all button or the control A shortcut, then select the group number and click group. The red border around the clips indicate that those specific clips were included in the group that I just created. Now let's get back to the timeline by pressing F7 again. This will deactivate the storyboard. And here I can see that in my event viewer the clips have a red border indicating that they are part of a group. Right now if I'm gonna change the gamma setting to Rec 709 on one clip it's not gonna get applied on the entire group. In order to get it applied on the entire group I'll need to turn on Gang. And right now, if I change the gamma setting to Rec 709 and I browse to the clips, I can see that the setting got applied on my entire group. The next logical step would be to start adjusting individual clips and their specific problems. First, let's turn off Gang because I don't want the settings that I'm going to modify to affect my entire group. Let's choose this clip right here. I can clearly see that it lacks contrast and maybe it could use a slight adjustment in color temperature to make the scene look warmer. But let's do all these changes while in playback mode. Right now we're in playback mode, real time. I'm adjusting the contrast and increasing the color temperature. And I can already see that the image looks better. But the playback speed was not affected not even one bit, not even if I have drastic changes in my color settings. If satisfied with the look, you can store it and then use the quick store to quickly recall the same settings on similar shots, like this one for example. As you can see handling RAW files it's a breeze, especially thanks to the user interface which enables you to make changes in parameters and see them applied without losing focus on the image not even for one instant. Thanks for paying attention and happy grading. Cheers.